Now let's talk about how to block someone on iPad messages and also how to unblock them. So there are three parts of this video. Like I said, blocking and unblocking, then it's reporting and then filtering. So let's just begin with the blocking. If you are on your iPad, it is quite simple to actually go ahead and go to your conversation and block the person that is texting you. So uh, you just go and open up the messages on the iPad and in your conversation at the top, you of course can see the phone number or the name that is currently texting you. And there you're going to have to tap on the name at the top and multiple options are going to pop up. So there is the possibility to hide alerts, to send or hide read receipts and sharing focus status. I mean, hiding alerts is also an option if you just don't want to see those notifications and messages. But in order to delete their mention on your iPad, meaning to block them, you have to tap on info with the person icon. So you scroll to the bottom of the page and there is a big red uh, block color option. So if you click on that, you will be able to block the person that is texting you and you pretty much won't be reached by them anymore. The same thing goes for unblocking them. So in the same scenario, you just click on info on the messages. I mean, you, you go to the, to the conversation, then click on the person and then again on the, the info. And instead of the big red block color icon or button, you're going to have the unblock them button. So it's the same process, but in reverse. You also have some options in the settings. So if you open up the regular settings icon, then under messages section, there is a blocked contacts. And there is a list of all the contacts that you blocked on your iPad. And in this area, it's also possible to add a blocked contacts. So here, if you click on add somebody to the blocked list, you're going to be able to add them, but only uh, people from the contacts. So in first, you're going to have to save the person to the contact list and then you'll be able to add them to the blocked list, which is like a step in between. And if you already have a messages conversation with them, you can just block them instantly in the messages app. And of course, in this section, you can also manage the people that you blocked previously. So you can perhaps unblock them or do whatever you want with them or just check out the list or something. By the way, guys, really quickly, I want to say that if you're new on this channel, don't hesitate with subscribing because it does help the channel and makes you stay informed. The second option is filtering and filtering pretty much means that uh, some people that you in theory wouldn't really want to reach you, then they're going to be preventing from doing that. So in the settings, of course, uh, in the messages section, there is the filter unknown senders. And if you turn this on, uh, as you can see and as you can read under it, it's going to sort messages from people who are not in your contacts into a separate list. This means that people you don't really know and are not part of your contacts are going to be separated from the messages that you see and you only will be able to access them when you click on a separate list. So when you deliberately want to talk to people that you don't know. I consider this option to be something secondary that you do after receiving so many unwanted messages. Like if you get a lot of advertising content or something, then you can just think about this option. But for regular people that don't get a lot of uh, unwanted conversations and text messages, this is probably not the right option, I guess. And the reason for it is that the term unknown sender may be someone you don't really know just yet and would like to talk with, or it's just not anything spammy, it's not anything advertisement related, or someone you would potentially want to talk with. But with these features turned on, you're not going to be able to see it right away. And then there is reporting. This only applies to the first messages from people you don't know. It is not possible to report some of your friends or the people that you are already texting to. So it has to be a first unwanted, let's say, message. And if it's from a person that you don't know, you're going to get the report junk button. So, of course, in case of receiving unknown message, you can reply to it. Then it becomes a regular conversation chat. You can ignore it and don't do anything about it. Just leave it there in your messages or you can report it. And reporting means that the message gets deleted from your devices automatically once you report it. And also Apple is informed about the unwanted text from that phone number. So I don't know what they do with that information. Perhaps they create some sort of 
list or blacklist of people spamming other people's text messages and stuff. I don't know about it, but uh, you can definitely report it. But you should know that reporting doesn't prevent the person from reaching you again. For this, try blocking them as explained earlier. And if you just can't get them out or you're just constantly getting some unwanted text messages, then you can also reach out to your carrier. They definitely have uh, the ability to block them, like within uh, the network of phone calls and uh, like uh, the phone numbers. So definitely talk with them and uh, yes, it's just... Uh, in scenarios when it's getting a little bit more serious and you are you feel like you're being uh, I don't know like spammed a lot or I mean you probably get what I'm saying anyways guys I really do hope that you enjoyed this video or at least found it helpful in this case uh, you could leave a thumbs up on the video it would really help me and support the channel support the video this would make it available and show up to more people on YouTube in their algorithm so that would just be amazing and if there is anything that you would like to say the comment section is the way to do so I hope you enjoyed it like I said and we can see each other in the future uploads